Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com and I'm here with this week's What You Make in Wednesdays and I am pre-taping it earlier because um, I'm not going to be home when I do my regular um, live so hopefully I will be able to um, watch with you though um, when it's playing so we can chat so fingers crossed in that and I have a super cute um, card to share with you today and it is um, the new stamp set garden birdhouses so I was so excited when I saw that in the catalog so that's the card I'm gonna be doing today so let's um, turn the camera and get started and um, I hope you like it as much as I do all right Let's go. Here is the host code for May. If you are ordering from my, from my store, I would love for you to use this code here. If you are in one of my stamp clubs, you have your own private code. So you will use that one instead of this one. As always, if you are ordering over 150 before tax and shipping, then you don't want to use the code so that you get your own hostess benefits. If you are ordering over 150 before tax and shipping, you may seriously want to think about just getting the starter kit because then you can get $155 worth of product for only $99 in tax. Stampin' Up! even pays the shipping on the starter kit. So I would love to answer any questions you have in regards to that. And I would love for you to join my team. We have girls all over the United States. And I say girls because we don't have any guys on the team yet. So maybe you'll be that first one. Okay, so let's get started with today's card. So the card I'm going to be doing is this one right here. And it uses the new stamp set, Garden Birdhouses. I also am using the greenery embossing folder. And I just have A on here because there's actually two pieces to it. So I just have greenery A, greenery B, but I'm using this one. Let's see, what else am I using? We are using Bermuda Bay is the, um, the main card base. Let me scoot up just a little bit. All right, so we have our main card, ba card base is Bermuda Bay. Then we're gonna start building our little, um, our little lip or our little um, side piece. And this comes from, let me get that die. That comes from Peony. So it has this cute little scallop in there that has this little, um, pretty little die em embossed kind of part on it. So that's going to go on my um, pattern party. That's where this DSP comes from. This is the pattern party. That's that hostess pack of paper. You definitely want to grab that. All right, so we are going to put some adhesive on our strip. Let me get that started. I've been working this morning, catching up on stuff. So I have stuff everywhere. All right, let me set that there. Then I'm gonna bring this over. I'm using my silicone craft sheet just because I may get a little adhesive out of bounds of the paper and I don't want it to be too sticky. So this is just going to go on here. It's a little bit longer and I'm just gonna trim it, so no worries. Then we have the square doilies. I wanted to add even more layers to this card. So I'm going to cut this in half. Or not even in half. I'm going to just cut it here because I just want the edges. And here. And then I'm going to turn it over again and just add some more adhesive. I keep having to start that. There we go. And then I'm just simply going to lay it on top of the doily. Let me get that one out of the way so I don't stick it to the paper before I need it to. So that's going to go on here. It just barely sticks out. I just want it to have a little bit of vellum cuteness to it. Then I'm going to use the other one. If I can pick it up off my table. All right, 
So we have our COVID tests for our Hawaii trip this afternoon. So that's why I pre-taped this. And I'm hoping I will be able to watch it along with you. If I can, I will chat on the side. So if you see me over there, make sure you say hi. If not, no worries. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. Right here. I'm just following it on here. So that way it didn't necessarily matter that if this was crooked or not because I'm using the edge of my DSP to do that. All right. Then that is going to go, let me make sure I'm using the right piece of paper. All right, so since this is a skinny die, see how when I did this size of piece of paper, it's four by five and a quarter, it really just does a die like this. So you have this little um, naked edge so that's what why I'm putting this here. So this will cover that little naked edge. And I'm going to use, give me that little silicone mat back. I'm going to use my green tip glue just because there's a lot going on back here. And I want it to adhere pretty good but this is also going to allow me to wiggle and get it in place better since I've got so many layers going and I'm putting it on here if I just used um, the seal once it touched it would be glued so this is just going to allow me to wiggle and get it just right before it glues down plus since it's a wet glue it will get into those nooks and crannies that is there from the doily as well as the nooks and crannies that are just on the edge from the die. All right, so I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit before I trim the edges down. Okay, so while I'm doing that, let me get started with our stamping. Where is my pad of paper? I, I swear, I'm always looking for this this um, pad of paper on it. Every video I'm always going, where's my pad of paper? Okay, it's because I put it away. <laughs> I try to be tidy half the time and I put it away and then I have to go dig it out. So, okay, so let's start our um, stamping. So I'm going to be using the blends. I know, surprise, surprise. So we are going to use the memento. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building my image or my design, my scenery, on my stitched rectangle. This is a big stamp. And I inked up my pad so it's nice and juicy. All right, so that's gonna come over here. So we've got our leaves coming. Okay, so we have our leaves. Then we want to put our houses. So I have three houses. Make sure they're clean, no fuzzballs. All right. So we have this house here. So while I stamp that one, I'm also going to stamp one here and that will make sense in a minute okay then so we have our little house then we want to stamp this one I think this might be my my favorite one out of all of them I don't know they're all cute all right so then we have this one here So you've got that one. And again, I'm gonna stamp one over here. And then we have our final little birdhouse. And this one is too cute. This one, this might be my favorite. <laughs> All right, so then we have this cute little round one. 
and that's going to go right. Let's see, where do I want to put this one? I want to put it here. And again, we're going to put one on the scrap paper. Then you also have in the stamp, you have a hanging string. So this won't necessarily be too viewable, but I'm still going to put it. So this little birdhouse is hanging from the tree and you can barely see it. But these ones are coming up from the ground. They have sticks. So it has a big tall stick. So there's not much to that one. So I'm going to use this end. So I have a little bit more to color on that one. I'm going to flip it the other direction for the other birdhouse just because I have a little more area to color on that one. And I love the look of this one because then it looks like the shadow, right? So we've got two different, it's the same stick, but you have two different looks depending on which way you stamp it. Okay, so I think that is good. I think, so I'm gonna let that dry. Let me find my lid to my pad. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, here it is. All right, so did I do all three birdhouses? I did, I did, I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna do quickly on here, I am going to take my balmy blue, and I want it to have the look of there's some sky, so I'm just gonna very roughly put some balmy blue down the edges of my birdhouses and around my tree branches. And then we're just gonna color these quickly. Now, because these aren't gonna be shown, the ones that I colored before or that I stamped on the other piece of paper are gonna be shown. So I'm just barely coloring these. This is just in case you can see them from the edge. I just want them to be not be like naked houses back here. So I just want to make sure that there's a little bit of color. If you can see the side. So that's why I'm not being really particular how I'm coloring them. But I am coloring them the color that will be the finished one. All right. And then we have pool party for this one. So this way, if the edges show, there's color on them. So it just looks, it's just a little more pleasing to the eye than you don't just see this naked image behind there because I'm gonna pop them up with blue dots and dimensionals. All right, and before I put that away, we're going to, this is a cinnamon cider for this stick. And Granny Apple, let me scoot down a little bit. So Granny Apple for the leaves. So this is the light Granny Apple. This is just such a fun, fun set. I hope that you like birds as much as I do. Not that they poop all over your car. I'm not a very big fan of those kind but the cute kind. Now we, now that being said, we had two grackles. They're these big black, I, I call them devil birds because they have these eyes. I swear their eyes are like white or something and they're big and black. And um, they could be nice birds, I don't know, but they're just, uh. and anyways, don't forget that one. There, there was two of them fighting, oh my gosh. Like all over the yard. They were just tossing and turning. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna set that aside. All right, so now I'm gonna color these up. So the, um, let's see. I'm using light gray 
for the roofs. Just because I kind of did want them to all kind of have a similarity. We had one person making the birdhouses, probably Jeff. He's always making birdhouses. So I figured all the roofs would be painted the same or use the same material. So we have light gray granite. And I didn't even look at my time. I should have. I'm taping this with my phone. All right. So if I stop, if I stop quickly, you know something's up. Okay. And then we have the dark gray granite. To add a little bit more color. So it's just, I love coloring this kind of stamp because it's so user friendly. You don't have to be so, so particular. And then this is the dark smoky slate. So then I'm just going to add a little bit of dark. And that's just going to make that gray pop even more. See how you can see that that just kind of highlights those two grays. Just because you've got that dark. We put that in there too. Inside the house. It's not like there would be a light bulb on there, would there? All right. Now let's finish coloring our houses. Now this house is going to be the dark so saffron. I just wanted the houses to be um, like pretty kind of pastel-y colors. I had first started picking darker colors and I was like no I loved the cardstock I chose and the cardstock I picked actually because I was putting cardstock away from a class and I had these colors stacked together and I thought oh my gosh these colors look so cute together I wanted to make a card with them so that's where these colors came from and this was the perfect one okay so poppy parade so this is light poppy parade you gotta have a red door we have a red door on our house and then the dark poppy. And then that little stick that they're gonna stand on. So there's that one house. Then we're going to color this one pool party. I love, you know me and my pool party. I love pool party. It's such a vintagey blue. I just love it. We used to have Soft Sky. I think it was called Soft Sky, wasn't it? And it also was a favorite. All right, so this is the dark pool party. So just the edges up from the bottom in this edge, and then it's lighter in the center. But I also want to take, and this is my dark Bermuda. Oh, I want the light. I had the, dark, the light Bermuda and the pool party go together too. So I'm going to just put a little bit here so see how that goes so well with the with the pool party and we can soften it by going over it with the dark just to catch those edges down but it's just going to add just a almost like a shade darker pool party all right so there's that house let me cut these away just so I'm not dragging my ring over them while I'm coloring up this one. And this one is simply just going to be the poppy parade as well. You have to have a little bit of red, I think, on your card. So this is just a light pool party. that and then we'll just add some of the dark and if you go like lines it almost makes it even look more like wood right like the wood grain all right so there's that one and then where is my smoky slate 
for that. And then my gray granite. So that will be the little stoop that they rest on. All right. So I'm gonna cut those out. Let me set them aside. Let me bring my inside of my car over. All right, let me get these blends out of the way. I'm watching my time. All right, I don't wanna time out. I don't know if the phone does time out. All right, so here's the inside of my card. And I am just basically going to mimic what's on the front. So I love putting this black and white buffalo check. And I love backing with the color. So it's got this cute little granny apple green. Hopefully I didn't glue it. There we go. I let it just kind of lay in place. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not good. All right, then this is gonna go on the inside of the card. And then this will just mimic the front and finish the card off on the inside so it looks super cute. Oops, I almost glued it the wrong way. Oh no, I didn't either. It looked weird to me because I have to cut the edges off. All right. Oop, 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 oop. wait, 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 wait. Pull it down, pull it down. Pull it down, pull it down. Ooh, whoo. Now, sometimes if it gets stuck, if you breathe on it, if you like huff your breath, your hot breath underneath, if something's stuck, sometimes it will loosen. But luckily I hadn't pushed that super hard. So that's what I mean about if I'm not careful when I'm gluing them together, I would have had a mess there. All right, so this is the inside. But I do want to put a little greeting. So the greeting is from this set. And I need my memento pad. And here's the greeting. So the greeting says, hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. Isn't that a cute little saying? Oh, I think it is such a cute saying. All right. So let me scoot up a little bit so you can see. So that's going to go on the bottom of the card here. And I find if I stamp the greeting on the bottom, I can stamp it straighter because I have this edge to look at. And then I have all of this room up in here that I can write, you know, my saying to. So if you have an issue of getting stuff straight, try that. Then we're going to put our little bird right there. I also put a bird on the front of the original one, but I didn't stamp one just to speed it up a tad. Let me rip that off there in case it's got any ink on it. All right, let's put this on the inside of our card. And then we're gonna to start to assemble. I guess I don't even need that anymore. All right, so this goes like that. So we've got our inside all good. Then we have this here. So this should be good and dry by now. So then I'll do the same thing. I'll trim my edges. And trim this. And then we can stick that on the card. So we'll put that on the front. I love this embossing folder. Oh my gosh. We have some good ones. I mean, it's... You know, I know I'm, I'm biased because, you know, I'm a demonstrator, but we've got some amazing dies and folders this year. I always am, a, I'm, I hate to say goodbyes to some of my favorites, and then when I see that big old stack of retired stuff. But then it doesn't take long to get it filled up with the new stuff. Okay. So isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Now this is going to go here. So I'm gonna use dimensionals. Put one in the center. We don't want a soggy center. So it's gonna go on here. So that goes on here. And I put it down towards the bottom. So then it was almost like you could see these trees flowing over top. 
And then we simply just have to cut these out. And these are so easy to cut out because it's just a lot of straight lines. So they're not super hard to trim. It would have been cool if it had a die, just saying. But then it probably would have had like a white edge around it. And sometimes you don't want that white edge. Sometimes you want to cut close. So, and I guess we can't have dies for everything. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out. I'm looking at the time. So since I pre-taped this earlier, I may be able to speed it up a tad. I don't want to speed it up too much and have me talking like a chipmunk. Now some people do their videos and they, um, they don't talk during them and then they dub them or whatever. They talk over the video and I haven't tried that yet. I don't know if I could because I think I would forget something that I would, would mean to say. You know, like when I'm cutting out something and go, oh, I need to remind you to do blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I would forget if I was talking over it. I might have to try. What do you think? You think I should try that? Make sure you let me know when you're watching. I usually um, try to respond to your comments and then if I don't and you don't hear from me always you know email me always email me or comment again because it usually comes into my email saying you know Jane commented so I can reply now when we're in Hawaii next week I don't believe I'm going to have any I'm bad I don't believe I'm going to have any um videos during the week unless I do something from Hawaii it's just that um like I think I mentioned the other day I'm doing the DSP shares so I, I need to get those out but I had um some come in late and I just got them so now I'm like stressing a little bit so those I feel are more important to get out to people than doing some videos for next week that might make me be a bad demonstrator but I don't want to be up late either every night and be so stressed because we haven't gone anywhere just like everybody and forever so we are looking forward to almost a little bit of normal life you know okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take glue dots so I'm gonna move these aside so this one is going to be put on with um, glue dots. So I'm just putting three. Let me scoot up a little bit. There we go. Some glue dots. Oop, one stuck to my finger. All right, so we've got a little glue dot. So this is what I mean about by that color being here. So when I pop this up, you're not going to see. Now, you want to look ahead because this would show. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of gray there. So when I pop this up, the bird, the birdhouse will look colored underneath. All right. And then, so this one, let me get my glue dots going. Oh, that was not even the glue dot. All right. So now this time I'm going to stack my glue dots. I want this one to sit up. So I'm going to put three together. I don't want it as high as a dimensional. That's why I'm just stacking three. Okay. But the last birdhouse, I will put on with actual dimensionals. So see how that one is in front of this one? And then the last one, I'm going to really put dimensionals. And before I take the dimensional backs off, I'm going to lay it on here. And then you'll be able to see from the side if there's any place that you need to add a little bit of color. And it looks good because I put that red here and here and the gray up here. It looks like I have colored that birdhouse all the way underneath. 
So my sister used to do paper towel, and that's what this kind of reminds me of. And she would have like 1,000 layers of paper, and it would just keep coming out and out and out. All right, so there is a super cute little card. Now let me show you the one I had before. And just a little bit of differences with it. They're pretty much the same on the inside. Same on the inside. The little differences are this one I added some of the little, let me pull these down a little bit. I'm so used to being able to see on the computer I have to look in the phone. All right. So these are the elegant faceted gems. So I added a few around and I probably will to this card too. They just add almost like a water droplet so they look perfect for the nature. And then I also did a little bird. So there are two birds in the set. Where is the set? Oh my gosh, where did I set it? Oh, right here, underneath the peony die. It has such cute um, pieces to it. It's got some cute sayings. Well, uh, welcome. Hello. Wouldn't this be fun to give to a neighbor too with the little bird houses? It's got grass. There's the stick we used. More trees. And then here is that little, um, the little cord. You can see it a little bit better here. And it even has a little ring. So, oh, there's actually three birds. Look at that. So anyways, I love it. What would have been perfect even would have been the musical notes. And I almost was going to find the musical notes, but then I remembered that those came from the, um, the Woodland stamp set, and that's retiring. So I wanted to stick this with um, current stuff only. So that's why I didn't put the little musical notes. But it would be cute, right? The bird was singing. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that card, and um, let me know what you think. Wasn't that the cutest little card? Uh, I love birdhouses. I love watching the birds. So this one will sit on my shelf for a little while before I send it off to somebody. If you are interested in any of the things that I've shown today, please make sure you check below the video and there's a product list where you can um, order anything that I showed. If you have any questions, please make sure you let me know as well because I enjoy hearing from everybody. And I will see you um, Friday at two o'clock Arizona time in the Facebook group and that will be for this week's Dyes Shorts. And if there's anything you wanna see, just let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye for now.